he's saying quite explicitly and unambiguously that Liz Cheney should be shot, should be executed by firing squad. It is unacceptable to suggest that nine barrels should be pointed at her in the face. Former President Donald Trump is escalating his violent rhetoric, suggesting one of his most prominent critics, former pro Congresswoman Liz Cheney, should be fired upon. And now he's going after Liz Cheney with this dangerous, violent rhetoric. I just spoke to Attorney General Chris Mays about uh, two hours ago. Uh, she told me she had just got off, gotten off the phone with her cr criminal division chief, and she was investigating whether what Donald Trump said about Liz Cheney constituted a death threat. Stop lying to me. Welcome back, thanks for watching. You won't be disappointed because I have crucial, important information and I want you to share it. The latest Democrat state media Trump hoax just dropped. And it's more of what we've become used to seeing from that corrupt institution. It's a popular talking point on the left to say that Republicans and people on the right live in a separate disinformation created reality. So let's take a quick look at these separate realities. Let's execute a political opponent who happens to be a woman um, because I don't like her. And like, does that pull more low propensity voters in his coalition to the polls? I, I honestly don't think so. And I don't blame him for sticking with his daughter, but his daughter is a very dumb individual, very dumb. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrel shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, oh, gee, Will, let's uh, send, uh, let's send 10,000 troops right into the mouth of the enemy. But she's a stupid person. No! Where did you get that? That's right. He never said anything about firing squads or executions. He was clearly talking about politicians going to fight in the wars that they support and start. Which is weird, right? Because that's the classic liberal anti-war argument that politicians wouldn't start these wars if they had to go fight in it themselves. But Donald Trump says the exact same thing and the media claims that he's talking about executing his political opponents. What's really wild here is that Trump and his supporters are the only people who have been shot during this election. Trump was literally shot in the face, one of his supporters killed, but these people just pretend like it never happened. And believe me, that is on purpose because acknowledging it hurts their agenda and their agenda is keeping Democrats in power to save our democracy. And that brings us to this authoritarian Democrat AG in Arizona that's now supposedly investigating Donald Trump for a lie based on a deceptive state media edit. Uh, Talk about this, this breaking news regarding Donald Trump's comments that he made about Liz Cheney in Arizona last night. The attorney general is responding. That's right. I just spoke to Attorney General Chris Mays about uh, two hours ago for the taping of my Sunday show. Uh, she told me she had just got off, gotten off the phone with her cr criminal division chief, and she was investigating whether what Donald Trump said about Liz Cheney constituted a death threat under Arizona law. Uh, I'll tell you, under Arizona law, it is illegal to make threats or intimidate someone. Can be charged as a Class 1 misdemeanor, Class 6 felony. Uh, Chris Mays told me they're looking into it. I asked her whether this was just political speech, free speech. Uh, she said, we're checking to see if it crossed that line. But she also put it in the larger perspective. If, if you're here right now, you begin to understand how this place is ready for a high security event on Tuesday, an election. Uh, our sheriff's office is talking about a no tolerance policy for protests. Chris Mays is activating all her agents. Every law enforcement agency in the state is involved with protecting the vote, protecting voters. So that's Chris Mays brought that into the conversation that for Donald Trump to make these kinds of remarks at this time, such a, a really fraught and intense moment uh, here in Maricopa County is it, just bad. Well, 
that's bullshit. And of course, this attorney general is a far left Democrat nut job who, like her Democrat counterparts, has weaponized the justice system against her opponent in a desperate bid to interfere in the coming election. It's pretty clear they're only doing this because they know the small group of people that still listen and trust them will just believe this. Even if they see the in-context clip, they'll just tell themselves that what he really meant was that he wanted to execute Liz Cheney. All right, folks, let me know what you think in the comments and make sure to share this video so everybody knows this is just another media hoax. If you're still here, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, both shorts and long form. So keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.